Well, today Ted's got us very, very busy. We're doing work on Diane Abbott, and I've got a Chieftain gearbox that needs some TLC. It needs oil seals, and it also needs a bit of attention in the solenoid box. So I'll start off with the electric solenoid box. And straight away, I can see we've got issues. Water's got past the seal and got inside with the electrics. This is not good. So the only thing I can do now is completely remove the top housing cover. But first of all, I thought I'd blow the debris and bits and pieces away before it all ends up falling inside the valve body. Now with the cover off, you can really see just what a state this thing was in. So I carefully cleaned and lubricated, got everything moving freely, and just cleaned all the contacts up along the uh, electric rail, and just got as much rust and dust and grease and crap out, and lots and lots of cleaner and an airline blowing off, and you could start to see already this thing starting to look rather good again. And, uh, and nice and free as well, so that's a good start. So I'm quite happy with that. Time to put the cover back on. These Chieftains are semi-automatic and it's the electric solenoids that are cleaned off here which actually select each individual gear. When you, when you click up a gear it sends 24 volts to each individual selector depending on what gear you want to go in. Right, well I'm happy with that solenoid box, so now it's time to press on and try and get these oil seals out. Like everything Army, they never bothered with Loctite, but they did use lock wire. So each, each bolt got a piece of wire that links to the next bolt to stop them all right there. It's a real pain in the backside, you always stab your finger in it. I hate this stuff. You come out of it. Yeah, I thought that I'd, I would just wait there and we'll, we'll count them back in. Problem is, I don't think you're gonna get it. Looks in good, Nick, though. It does look in good, Nick. I think it's a, I think it's a double one. Do you want to try and find a magnet? There's a magnet there. I've literally just bought one. Uh. Bendy, a special Bendy Wendy one. Yeah. Oh my God. 
That is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be horrible. Good! Back together. They're literally all over the floor. What were you thinking when they made that bearing just hold a bit? Look at that. And then, that would have sat in there. I'm just going to put it back. Look at me. That's a nice bit of engineering, actually, isn't it? It is quite smart. It's going to need a damn good clean. Think of the money that that would have cost. Oh, millions of dollars. Think about it. So now, how the hell? Well, that's what I was just looking at because I still don't see a way that that clips off there. Try and pull the other side. I think we've got to pull it apart. Just be careful of that. that oh. side. I got it, I got it, I got, got it. it. Yeah, yeah, go on, let go. Sure. I got it. Yeah, right. I'm going to take this gear out. Right, I'm going to put it on the other side. Yeah, yeah, look at that. All of that, that sodding oil control seal. That was fun, weren't it? I had a while of time. Mate. I love smacking fuck out. Great. Right, let's get that out and get some new ones. Mm -hmm. Well, there it is, everything stripped out. Hopefully get these new seals maybe next week. With any luck, what a nightmare job that was. All those little roller bearings that fell out. I managed to uh, put some grease around the shaft and one by one put them back on. Um, so obviously I need to be more careful when I do the other side when I'm taking this face off to take it off and let that shaft stay in this side so it doesn't pull this cog off and all those bits fall out everywhere. Because that took me about two hours to pick them back in, which was horrible. Um, but otherwise, it's looking pretty good. I need to remember to change that O-ring there because that's obviously oil feed into that housing that lubricates them bearings. Um, I will take that back off and give that a good clean because that did uh, get some crap in it. But um, otherwise, it's looking pretty good. And then I've just got to do the oil control seal again 
on this side because it's leaking down the back same as the other obviously that side the other side was a lot lot worse but um it may as well go together being uh being right um and obviously hopefully now the solenoids will be okay shafts all freed off for the emergency gears so fingers crossed this will uh, go in concrete the discs for this are on the side over here that we had skimmed at Harper Engineering. They're all good to go. So, got them to go on. I think the calipers that we took off will be all right. I'm going to give them a good clean and uh, check the seals in them. I'll put the airline in and blow the pots out and just make sure that they're not stuck. Um, so, yeah. The old uh, Abbott pack is looking a picture now, considering how terrible it looked before. It is actually quite a good engine. It hasn't actually done that many hours, so uh, we've given a bit of a bit lease of life. The old team's done a pretty good job on that, so hopefully that'll be going back in soon. That's the steering oil tank. Um, we took all the lights off and all the wiring at the front because all that was all smashed to bits and none of the lights are even joined on. So I've got some wiring to do, but obviously first we've got to straighten bits out. The little gun, paint everything before the engine goes back in. So we are getting there with the Abbott as well, at long last. But that's Jack's little project really, we've helped do the engine and stuff. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna be spending my time on now, Seb's tanks out, is, uh, is the Diamond T. So hopefully um, in the next week or so, I'll be starting to put this back together, the call the cab on the front, the bonnet, and all that business, so that'll be looking a nice bit of kit. And I can take the tarps off when we're done painting, or well, now that engine's painted, that can go back in. And that can go out for a bit in the week. Jack can do that at the weekend in his own time. And uh, we can crack on with this. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video.